Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for coming to my website and choosing me to be the reader for you. I am very excited about this. One of the things I want to talk about in this video is all the different types of options that you can have for readings. One option that you can do is to talk to your spirit team. This is called a spirit guide reading. Spirit guides are around you every single day and you have many, many more than just one. So you can come in and ask the spirit guides any question you would like. What is next on my career path? What do I need to do? What do I need to know? Am I supposed to go back to school? Anything like that. Whatever works for you, that's what your spirit guides are going to be able to answer. You can also come in and say, hey, listen, this is what I do for a living. Who is my spirit guide that's helping me with it? Because yes, you do have a vocational spirit guide. And we can do spirit guides for everything. Joy guides, take your pick, lots of them. The next kind of reading we can do are crossover loved ones. This is where people come to me and very specifically want to hear from mom, dad, aunt, uncle, husband, whatever works for you. We try to connect with them. I cannot guarantee that crossover loved ones can come in, but we try to do them to the best of our ability. The next kind of reading that we can do are tarot or oracle cards. I just pull out the cards and from that we start asking any of the questions that are on your mind. And it may just be, I want a general reading. And we just like, say to the cards, okay, whatever we need to know. And then I just start shuffling and we put the cards down and I start giving you all the information that Spirit gives to me. The next kind of reading we can do is an Akashic Record reading. Your Akashic Records are something that has to do with your entire past, your entire future, and everything about now. You carry these records with you everywhere you go. They're easily accessible if you know how. I am unlike many other practitioners who will tell you that you always have to come back to me to read them. I walk you through a visualization to open up your Akashic Records. All you have to do is remember how to do the Akashic Record opening. Once you're in them, you can receive all the information that you want. So when we're in there, I answer all the questions that you have. It could be a past life. It could be anything like that. And then we walk back out of them and we close them gently and we come back into the room where we are together, whether it's online or in person, it doesn't matter. All of these options I can do both online and in person. Once you have access to your Akashic Records, you can go into them following the exact same meditation that I'm going to walk you through, and then you won't have to need me again. If you're going to do an Akashic Record reading, those are an hour. I also have options for something called Spirit Hour. It is a message circle, so it's where we sit in circle and we talk to spirit for uh, each person gets like five to seven minutes of a message. It could be a crossover loved one. It could be a spirit guide as well. Whatever it is, it's your team and it's something that you need to know right now that's weighing on your heart. Each of these readings can be done in 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or an hour. Akashic Record readings are always an hour long. And the other reading we can do within half an hour to 45 minutes. So I hope to see you soon on my schedule. Thanks for watching.